What is up everyone, this is HPW Fix here and I am back with another vlog. This time, we're not going to WrestleMania. We can't afford to do that two years in a row. We are going to Elimination Chamber. And just for reference, this is where I am. And that's where the show is. So what I'm trying to say is, we gotta go. Just quickly, the bit that you're watching right now is being filmed not even in the same week as Elimination Chamber. Uh, it's Saturday right now, we leave on Thursday. That is enough yapping from me. Let's get to Australia. All right, so we're on the way to the airport. That's my dad and we're gonna do predictions for the show. So we were just going on about it before. How do you think the Miz is gonna be involved? He's, he's a Miz Mark. I think the Miz is gonna do a uh, surprise spot and come in and uh, smash Logan. Through the chamber, you think he's gonna enter the locked chamber? I don't know, he's gonna do something. I don't know, the Miz is... Uh, unique so we'll see i i think he's gonna show up but in the tag match i think our truth is gonna show up first because of the, the whole our truth and judgment day he's stuff and then miz is gonna be like oh join our awesome truth and then they win the tag titles of mania or something speaking of that tag team match who do you think's winning pete dunn and tyler bay or the judgment day judgment day every day i want it to be yeah i want it to be pete dunn and tyler bay but i think it is gonna be judgment day unfortunately men's chamber who do you, who do you think's winning so what are my options? Uh, I think Randy will. Really? Yeah. I think Randy's going to be the... Yeah. Because it's for the because number one contendership to face Seth. Seth. Yeah, I think Randy will. Yeah. I think with how much they're building him up, I think it's going to be Drew McIntyre. That, and then they maybe give him like a triple threat with Sami Zayn and Seth. And triple Mania. threat. Women's Chamber, who, who you got? It's, uh... The Morgan, obviously. Really? Yeah, obvious. It's obvious. Yeah. I think it's gonna be um Becky. I think they're gonna do Becky versus. I thought she was retiring. What? Rhea versus Nia Jax for the women's title. Oh, come. Rhea's gonna break both her legs. Break both her legs. Yeah, she's gonna murder her. Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious. Rhea Ripley's yeah. Rhea Ripley's retaining that title. And then the Grayson Waller effect with uh, Cody and Seth. Do you think? What, what do you think's gonna oh, come happen? On. Well, maybe that's where the Miz comes. Maybe the Miz comes in there and smashes them all. Because he's the rightful champion. The rightful champion? Yeah, he's, well, he's the, he's, the, he's the only one out of the three to be a champion. I think it's mostly just going to be, you know, Grayson asks Cody about about his Mania match and he'll be like, Oh, oh you can't finish the story. Uh, uh, you can't finish the story. Ha <laughs> ha. And then maybe Roman comes out, surprises everyone. I don't think The Rock's showing up. I don't think The Rock's showing up either. Nah. So that's our predictions for the entire show. Well, you'll obviously see before we do if if we're right. So this was the first of two flights that we went on. One to a different city in New Zealand, which is the one you're seeing right now. That was like 45 minutes, you know, nothing too special. Had no problems with it, thank goodness. Last year when we, when we went to WrestleMania, that flight got delayed. So our connection time between that and the uh, flight to LA was really tight but we made it all good to the auckland airport the international airport uh one of the coolest airports in new zealand in my opinion we made it safely onto the plane here you see us flying over tasmania which is i th believe the only island state in australia and then here you see what is actually pretty cool this is us flying over the outback which might not seem that cool to you, but it's pretty cool to me because I've heard about the Outback countless times in my life, but actually getting to see it is very freaking cool. And so we made it, we landed safely in Perth. Here you see us at the airport. And this plane that you see here, that Atlas airplane, I did a bit of researching and found out that's actually the plane that all the wrestlers came in on yesterday. All right, we made it after a crisp 13 hours of traveling. We've made it to Perth. It is a lovely 33 degrees Celsius. That's how much it is in Fahrenheit. And first impressions of Perth, it's a beautiful city. So we just got to the hotel and the superstore closes in like half an hour. So we're gonna haul ass and go there. We do, we look so much like tourists right now. Yeah, so much. Oh, yeah. This is what they have in terms of the figures. So, practically the same as last year, like, the bare minimum. We just got back from the Superstore. This is all the, the stuff we got. 
I'll probably show you guys that later. But, uh, ah, it fell down. Okay. We, we, back in the hotel room now. Got some slop for dinner. And then we're gonna hit the hay. And tomorrow, we got an action-packed ass day. So, cut to that. So, it's the next day. It's Friday. The packed ass day for us. So, right now, uh, we just went on like a two hour long walk throughout the city. It was uh, actually pretty nice. It's a really nice city. And now we are going to head off to the press conference, which has already been opened up and there's apparently already people there. So that's off to a great start. Then we're going to go try and go to a, a meet and greet with Grayson Waller at some shopping mall, which apparently they've been handing out wristbands for already. There's limited spots. So that's off to a great start. And then in the evening, we're going to a... Uh, independent wrestling show. So, lots to look forward to today. So the press conference is still going on, but we had to leave because it was just too hot and uh, got a bit too much. So bit of a bummer, but we saw everybody we wanted to see. I'm happy and we're going to go to get in line for the, to meet Grayson Waller. So how can you be mad? It has been an awesome day. The press conference was awesome, even if we had to leave a bit early. Meeting Grayson Waller was incredible. And now we're going to cap off the awesome day with an indie show. We're going to EPW. Now, I have zero knowledge of uh, pretty much anything they've done. So I'm going in fresh. Don't know what to expect. I'm expecting hopefully a good time and know that tomorrow is going to be an even better time because we're going to Elimination Chamber. Yeah, free shows on. Okay, I'll, I'll hang in like the main little mat main area.
What the hell? Saturday, it's the day of Elimination Chamber. EPW was awesome. Meeting Grayson Waller was awesome. And now, we are gonna go meet another wrestler. We're gonna go to some other random shopping mall and we're gonna meet Austin Theory. Then we're gonna come back here, maybe do something else, I'm not quite sure. And then, we're going to Elimination Chamber. And uh, every other day that we've been here, the weather has been like scorching hot and sunny. And then the day of the show, it's raining. Just met Austin freaking Theory. That was awesome. And while we were there, because it was right next to a Target, it was in a shopping mall, we got a couple figures. We got the Logan Paul and Roman Reigns battle pack and the basic top picks, maybe? I don't know, I don't know what series it is. Cody Rhodes. First, one of those new basics that I've got, and they're pretty cool. And now, we're chilling at the hotel for a bit, but after that, we're gonna head to Optus Stadium for Elimination Chamber.
a wanker. Tom is a wanker.
Nobody's gonna catch it. I can have. Oh! Oh, that's gonna be it! No! No! Two!
Thank you and good night. And that is it, Elimination Chamber 2024 in the books. What a show it was. I am absolutely, like, I, I can't get over how fun that show was. I, obviously, I went to WrestleMania last year. WrestleMania, you can't really beat that. But, like, this was a really fun show. But anyways, that is going to do it for the vlog. Thank you all for watching. If you made it to this point, thank you for sticking it out. Uh, it's a long-ass video. And I will see you guys whenever I see you.